All right, uh, never mind the secret language here. It's robot language. And I'll uh, talk in English like everyone else, like grown-ups. So my name is uh, Conrad. I'm the co-founder of Enlink. And we have made the world's first mobile drilling robot for the construction industry. And it looks like this. This is the first robot commercially available at the construction site. And drilling holes in concrete ceiling might seem like a very small and boring niche, and it is, but it's the first place that you'll see robotics coming into the construction site. And we'll start here, and after we have solved this properly, properly we'll make a lot of different robotic systems that will be seen in all kinds of construction sites all around the world. So how does this, this start? We're a bunch of geeks, and we came from NTNU in Trondheim. And this is how we thought robots would look like. And we, were all, we all agreed that, yes, we're going to make something cool with robotics. And it probably looked something like this. But it didn't. It looked like this. And it's quite boring, some of them. So we looked for inspiration. Where can we do anything with robotics? So we started to look where they are really good at robotics, the car make, uh, manufacturing industry. They're professionals, they've been using this for decades, and the robots work very, very well. They're accurate, they're fast, they're reliable, and so on. But there's not much to do for us here. This is already a mature market. But there's one market or industry that looks a little bit different. And it looks like this. And it's called the construction industry. And there's one man behind every single tool. Everything is manual labor. Everything is slow. Everything is hard and sometimes even dangerous. So that's the background. Industry came to us and said, guess what? We just built a shopping mall in Trondheim. We used 5,000 hours drilling holes in the concrete ceiling, like that. Can you imagine how long, uh, how long the days are when you know you're going to drill holes the next three months? <laughs> So that's how it started, and that's now history. We solved it. So this is, uh, again, the robot language. Why has nobody done this before? OK, let's go back to this. These robots are really good, but they have to be fenced. They're really dangerous. They're not mobile. They're very big and expensive, and they need a lot of power and control systems. The, the robot industry actually solved this themselves, making small, safe robots that we can use. And then there's the sensors. We use state-of-the-art cameras, lasers from the, the best companies in the world, and we have solved indoor positioning and navigation. And that's exactly what you need when you want to release the robots safe inside. Because of, like you guys know, you're smart people, you can't use GPS inside. So you have to make a very smart system. We already do that. Leica is so impressed that they give us equipment for free because they've never seen this done before like this. A combination of lasers and cameras that allows us to drill all the holes we need with about one to two millimeter accuracy. And that's good enough. Also, it's not just a lot faster. It's also better for the workers. And this has been verified all the way from the workers at the construction site and all the way up to the CFO. They're all happy, looking forward to it. And this is just the beginning, like I said. BIM files, so-called 3D drawings, are coming to every construction site in the world. And this is perfect for ro robots. They love structured data. And we can use that directly into a robot as of a couple of weeks ago and start drilling holes, giving X, Y, and Z coordinates. This is actually the drawing from Skanska's new headquarters here in Oslo. And how does it look right today? Exactly the same as the drawing. Look how similar it is. And the robots loves it. <laughs> so since it's a cutting edge uh, festival, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of our next uh, feature from the lab. And it's uh, not going to be released until next year. But it'll be amazing. <laughs> and if some of you want to see the real robot without this feature, it'll be at the, the conference at Lillestrøm. <laughs> Let's see if we can continue this. 
I don't know why the video is a little bit slow, but it's... Even robotic engineers need to eat. That's it. Thank you. Come on, that's... That's it. Almost done here. <laughs> Ale? Uh, there we go. So come and talk to me if you want to see more. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Um, so, so when are you actually in business? Uh, we're already doing our first pilot the jobs uh, this fall. So we've done uh, two jobs already. Okay. Um, can you uh, drill a ventilation hole in, um, in my house? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you have a job. <laughs> you. Thanks. Okay, so let's say I'm Skalska. Yeah. And I'm going to build a big, big building. Yes. 5,000 holes in the ceiling. And I contact you. I'm just curious about the business model. Is then, am I then renting both material, human resource, and everything? Or do you build expertise within Skanska? Uh, to begin with, we'll start as a complete service, a drilling service, where we do everything. We send a robot with an operator. In the future, we want to train your, your operator so you can control the robot yourself. And right now, we're looking at a model that's combining a uh, fixed price and a per, per use uh, price. So either per hole or per square meter or per day. Thank you so right. much.